right, you ready? Set up. Yes. It goes without saying, do not try this at home. Thank Please. you. I always forget to say that. <laughs> do not try this at home. Whoa! <laughs> I've got a pretty safe job. Oh god. Like that. <laughs> Said nobody ever. I work with a wide variety of hazardous animals, but the one that's always got me on my toes has got to be the rattlesnake. She will try to strike at me though. I'm close enough, she will go whack. From giant diamondbacks to tiny pygmies, these snakes come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and temperaments. When working with these animals safely, it's important to understand their physical capabilities. Most importantly, their strike range and speed. So in today's adventure, we'll be giving you an up close of exactly how fast a rattlesnake strike can be. In my home state of Louisiana, there are many incredible snakes to see. And in total, we have three rattlesnake species. The Eastern Diamondback, which has mostly been extirpated from the state. The Western Pygmy, my personal favorite by the way. And today's target, an absolute classic and a snake I have the most experience with, a canebrake rattlesnake. Here we go, rattlesnake. Yes! Perfect little cane bird. He does not like me. Hey, bud. What are you doing? Well, this here is one of the most common rattlesnake species in this region. This is a cane break. Also interchangeably nowadays called a timber. I just refer to the ones down here in the south as cane breaks. They typically have a lighter color. This would be a medium one. It's probably about three foot in length. Ooh. Good strike. I've never seen one strike backwards like that before. Now from this angle, now that he's facing me, I would reckon he could reach to about here. And now I'm gonna naturally just because I'm used to dealing with these snakes so much and I don't want to get complacent, I'm going to give him in my head a strike range to about here. And then to give myself an even bigger safety barrier, I'm sitting here. So that's kind of how I judge distances in my head. That first strike went to about here, but that was because he struck backwards. He struck over the top of his head to try to get me. So he struck to about here. So if I was anywhere within that vicinity, he would have got me. This is where he can strike to now easily, and if he springs, I'm gonna give him the heel. There's no way I'd be able to dodge a rattlesnake bite like that. If I'm not paying attention, I would have to move as he is moving, which is not practical. You're not gonna dodge a strike from one of these snakes. At this time of year, you're gonna see these animals just like this, coiled up in a ball, perfect little landmark. Now before we go ahead and test exactly how fast the strike of this animal is, let's talk about the strike for a minute. It's got a pretty decent length, and these snakes have a really bad venom. Depending on where they're from, they can have a totally different concoction of venom. Now in some areas, these snakes even have a bit of neurotoxin to their venom. Wow, what a stunning animal, and a great place to see them hanging out. They love these little hardwood biomes, but really they can be found in so many different biomes throughout so much of their range. They're an incredible animal, for sure. So what we're gonna do now is, I'm gonna go ahead and tie a balloon to the end of my hook, and we're gonna see in real time exactly how fast the strike of this snake really is. Because it is incredible to see. Now the balloon's not gonna hurt him at all. It's something that people do quite often actually to test the strikes of snakes. So there isn't gonna be any danger to the snake today. It's a pretty harmless test. And uh, it's gonna be a lot safer to test it on a balloon than me. I do not plan on getting bit by one of these snakes anytime soon, or any venomous snake for that matter. But I really do wanna show you guys how fast these snakes are and how unreactable their strikes really are. And this is where our little guy's gonna strike. Now, cane breaks are actually typically very mild mannered, so it might take him a couple of attempts, but we are gonna show you guys exactly how fast these animals strike. All right, you ready? Set up. Yes. It goes without saying, do not try this at home. Thank Please. you, I always forget to say that. <laughs> do not try this at home. Whoa, <laughs> that was faster. <laughs> that was a lot faster than I thought that was. Oh my God. Oh, that kind of scared me. <laughs> that was too quick. Let's see that again. From fully coiled up to the balloon, this snake strike was 70 milliseconds, 
or 0 0.07 seconds. It took 0.11 seconds for the full strike. And by 0.5 seconds, that's half a second, this snake has already back coiled up looking like it had never moved. Yep, that's exactly how fast this snake was. And I wouldn't even consider cane breaks to be all that fast. Just for reference, it takes a person 0.25 seconds to respond to seeing something, or 0.17 seconds to hearing something. This means that by the time you're reacting to the snake, it's already pulling its head back from the strike. Their bite is unreactable. Oh, that was a pretty good bite. As you can see, popped up a balloon. I don't see any venom. I actually think it pops too quick to actually get any venom on it. Now watch, I'm assuming at this point that she's not gonna hit another one. The reason being is one, that probably surprised her. And secondly, she now knows that balloon is not me. We're gonna try it, but watch. No girl? No girl? Now, just because this snake is not striking the balloon does not mean if I put my hand right there, she wouldn't hit it. These are pit vipers, they're heat seeking. Definitely now knows that the balloon is not an extension of me and is not out to bite it. They bite out of fear. And that initial reaction to the balloon is a whack. It came near me, I've got to get rid of it. Cane breaks, like I said, are a very mild-mannered rattlesnake. So I actually wasn't expecting more than one bite out of this snake today. Wow, well, what a really cool experiment. We got to see her nail a balloon. We got to see exactly how fast these rattlesnakes are. And that surprised even me how quickly she got onto this balloon. So it just goes to show you, if you ever see a rattlesnake, just go ahead and leave it alone. No reason trying to kill it, especially if you're out in the woods. If you see it there, like we're seeing this one, just leave it coiled up. As you can see, this snake is very upset. So we're gonna go ahead and leave him alone. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to check out the time we found these rattlesnakes under a huge concrete slab. One of my favorite videos of them. And we will see you guys next time. Alright, I'll leave you the balloon.